Hey, how's it going? I'm Sean from New Legend 4x4 here in beautiful Utah. And we're here to talk about some FSR, Free Spirit Recreation tents. Um, we've been, man, I've been camping and doing this stuff in our vintage 4x4s for 20 plus 25 years and kind of graduated through the ranks of like from sleeping in the truck by myself to then having a family and um, ground tenting to like evolving that system to its peak and then discovering rooftop tents and have had a lot of different brands of tents a lot of different experience and uh, when I met the folks at Free Spirit and saw the quality of their tents we kind of converted our whole fleet over to FSR and we're super stoked so just want to share a couple things about them first off the two tents that we have present with us here are in their high country series which is a soft-sided tent which means it folds out so whatever it is on your trailer or roof rack it doubles in size when you fold it out this is the high country 80 which is roughly the size of a king mattress just to kind of help you visualize that and on the scout is uh, a high country tri-layer premium 63 which is roughly the size of a queen mattress um, yeah so they have they're nice and comfortable it's kind of on the firm side with the mattress but let's we'll talk to the kind of the big the big top three or four reasons I really love the FSR team and their and their products number one is uh, just durability they're like a premium grade tent they're not cheap um, yeah they're, they're I mean they're not monetarily cheap but they're also not cheap quality they're very good quality you see like the thick extruded aluminum the materials are top grade the zippers are good quality um, so love that quality and they're gonna last so we've had this one for this is our second year in this tent um, and man it's basically still looks new it's held up great and this 63 is um, newer this year so so number one quality number two ease of setup like if you've ever had any experience with a rooftop tent it doesn't take long to get very frustrated with the zippers on the covers especially when it's higher up on a roof rack that it, it's it's mind-numbingly frustrating like when you're trying to fight these zippers and they get crossed up and you're just like uh and then when you unzip it it flaps over and hangs on the vehicle and just kind of blows in the wind i, didn't, I never really liked that so fsr uses a cover that's just clipped on it's like uh kind of like a, an elastic band cover that clips with these quality plastic clips and really like i've never had a, a clip break like they're, they're they're good quality um but it's just so easy to take that cover off and as you can see i have it stored underneath the truck but you can kind of fold it up put it in your vehicle whatever but i like that and number two um the fact that they don't use those springy metal rods and i've talked about this before and other other things but those metal rods are super annoying because you lose them they're just you're always fighting them and, and everything's more difficult when it's up on your, your roof rack this the 80s on on a adventure trailer and it's really easy to set up but when you get up onto the roof rack in some trucks especially if you have a lift it just can be a real headache so quality no metal rods or zippers on your cover um, and then thirdly it's just the the actual these are the tr have the tri-layer system which is basically an insulation and if you the non tri-layer versus the tri-layer is about a 12 pound difference so think about that 12 pounds of actual insulation just in this uh, diamond stitched kind of quilted material and, it, and what it does it basically and it works man I've, I've slept in this tent with my family in like in the 20s uh, degrees you know like 28 29 degrees and I've also slept in it when it's like 90 degrees at night and just been balmy and it really does help especially in sunny conditions it help keep it cool when it's hot um, and then when it's really cold it helps keep it warm um, another feature I really like is the open air kind of vibe and we'll show you when we get inside that you can unzip like you can really get 360 degree views and when we're in a place that's as beautiful as this it's really great to wake up to that scenery um, so yeah so let's hop inside and we'll talk about some of the features some of the things I like on the inside and then we'll uh, check it out so set up on these things once you take the, the cover off you literally just grab the ladder fold it out 
The only thing that there is to install are these support rods, which super easy to use. You just clip them in like this, put some tension on it, and you're you're done. And like, there's these tents do a really really good job at like not flapping in the wind. Um, which is super important. It's not something that a lot of people think about, but but you think about it when you're trying to sleep in the middle of the night and all you hear is flap, 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 like the the material flapping against itself. So I really like that. Um, another cool feature and the way that they're attached is nice. I've had these where they're annoying. You have to like take them off and slide them in. It's annoying. But these are just for like your shoes or boots. There's also like tools and instruction manuals in this, but sock, shoes, boots that uh, you want to keep your tent clean. Um, so those are a cool feature. Um, you got your roll-up doors with a screen. Every what I like about these um, high country tents, another thing is you have the screens actually unzip. So if you wanted to, if it's not but like here in in Utah, it's not very buggy. So you could literally just sleep op fully open air, not even screens. Or if it's buggy, put the screens up. Or if you want it to be like black as night when you, <laughs> it's so dark in these tents, which is really helps you sleep. Um, you do have to watch it though, because it's so dark sometimes. It'll be like 10 a.m. and you're like, you think it's still uh, three in the morning. Um, and inside, let's hop inside. As you can see, um, you can see the quilted material, and even for sound too, it just cuts some of the sound. Um, you have like convenient storage little pouches. There's a bunch of hooks, so like we hang um, lighting. We'll talk about the. And the 63, the integrated LED lighting, which is nice. This 80 does not have that. Um, again, this is a two year old model. Um, but man, the word of the day on the 80 is space. This thing is huge, but word of the day, space. So great tent, high country 80. If you got a big family, a friend of mine that has a scout, he has um, a family of five. So three kids and him and his wife, and they totally sleep up in here. And just a little uh, cool little thing that they do when they're at like a campground with an RV kind of hookup, uh, they just have a big electric blanket, like a king size electric blanket. And we did a camp out in Nashville in um, January, and it was like they were just loving it. So it stays nice and uh, it's insulated well. So it's something like a simple electric blanket will heat up really well. Not a big fan of putting like those little buddy heaters in your tent. Don't do that. I'm, I, don't, I don't think that's a smart idea. Oh, another thing I'll talk about that uh, is condensation. Um, condensation is like a weird thing. Again, you don't really think about when you're sleeping in a tent, but um, I'm not a scientist, so I don't really understand exactly why it happens. But anyway, little tip, like when we were, we were just camping up in a, outside of Denver, about 10,000 feet at the Gray's Peak Trailhead, which is a beautiful little spot. And it was in the like probably low 30s. And we found that we did get a little condensation, um, but we had it all zipped up tight and it was cozy. Um, but one little thing that we did last night that helped is just leave like the window flaps open just a tiny bit. So you have like a football size opening on both. You get a little bit of cross ventilation, still keep a lot of the warmth in, but um, and yeah, and this morning we had zero condensation inside and it's, it's really comfortable. So yeah, let's go hop in the 63 and I'll show you some things about that tent. Why, hello. Okay, so we're now in the uh, High Country 63 Premium. Now, as you can see, compared to the 80, they've lightened up the inside color. So now this is like this cool little light gray color. Um, and if you notice, it's got an additional layer in the tri-layer. So it's not a quad layer, but they've just um, done some upgrades to the newer models. So that is a good thing. Um, even warmer, even quieter. Um, and again, like as you can see, easy to roll down the screen. There's also this um, blackout insulated cover, the screen, or just open air, man. I'm so stoked. Beautiful views. Um, a couple things you'll see in this one, it has an integrated LED lighting, like a light strip, which is kind of cool. Same storage pouches. Um, but yeah, she's pretty bomb, man. And again, you, it's hard to appreciate a tent, and that's why you're watching this video probably, um, until you've owned 
quite a few and I think I've had five different brands in of all soft-sided tents and these have been my favorite uh, these will definitely be sticking with me for a long time they just do a good job man of like little just gratuitous hooks and, and things inside that you can hang things um, the mattress is pretty comfortable um, it's a little on the firm side like my wife she likes to um, we actually have like a Nemo little air mattress. So like she'll use that Nemo air mattress to, to just on a, on a, just with the lightly inflated and it's even more plush. I don't, I like it kind of firm as is. So, um, but overall good stuff. Check them out online and go to their website. Check out the 63. There's a bunch of spec sheets and all that kind of stuff. But again, three people, 63 works great. And the most like, the 80, in my opinion, is too big for most. Like if you have a Forerunner Tacoma, most most of those kind of vehicles, the 80 is a a big boy tent, and it is just long, so it'll take up your whole entire roof rack. I mean, again, if you have a big family, it's it's worth the sacrifice. If you just have like if you're just a couple or a couple with a dog or or one kid, the 63 is a nice compromise. It's bigger, and they're basically their size structure goes 55, 63, and 80 the 55 being like full size, 63 being like a queen, and the 80 being like a king size. So those will help you think about that. Um, but yeah, cool stuff, check them out. Thanks for hanging out. Go out and travel and enjoy, man. Go camping. <laughs>